lovelies, it's Buzz Lovely back with a DIY of these beautiful white ceramic antlers that I got at Target. I first saw them on Yvonne Stacy's Snapchat and she is on YouTube as well and I will put a link in her description below. So I started out um, with this and I decided to put some tissue paper behind it um, because I had it really handy and I found that it actually works really well for this purpose because it folds really nicely or and it goes around the corner or around the bottom of it because it's round um, and so I just decided to upcycle this a little bit and I really wanted to paint the flowers and make them um, a little bit more colorful than just the all white I think the all white is super pretty but for my decorations I just like a little bit more color sometimes um, and I have been loving these super beautiful um, watercolor. Um, I guess I've been looking at a lot of logos and like prints and stuff. And there's these really beautiful watercolor antlers with um, flowers. And this is kind of what that reminded me of. So I really wanted to use the watercolors because I wanted it to be um, similar to those logos. And so you could use spray paint if you wanted. You could just cover up all the rest of it and just use spray paint and it would cover it a little bit more evenly and a little bit darker. But I really, really liked the watercolor look. So that's kind of what I was going for here. Now I'm just using these watercolors that I got from Crayola and I just got them at Walmart or Target and they were just weren't very expensive at all. I would suggest that if you are interested in doing this, you might want to get a little bit better brush than I used. I used the one that came with the pack and it's a little bit cheap. So some of the bristles are coming out um, and it has this like sort of little knob area towards the end that made it kind of hard to get into the inside a little bit more. Um, so yeah, if I had thought about this ahead of time, I probably would have gotten a different brush. But as it was, this worked, and if that's what you have, then you can definitely make it work. Um, so I just used one color mainly for the um, antlers, and it was this pink color. And then for the center part, I think you can see that really pretty orange. Um, I did that a little bit in the centers, the center of the petals, to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And I am by no means any kind of artist. I'm really not that great at it, but um, I just thought that would look really pretty to add a little bit more dimension to the leaves instead of just um, all one color. And so I wanted to, the tips of the leaves to be just a little bit darker, or not leaves, petals, I keep saying leaves. So I went back and redid the petals. And this does take a couple of coats. You can't just, it's not something that you, it's just one coat and you're ready to go. It takes a little bit of time. <laughs> you can see my head there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just took my time and went through and um, did a couple of different, um, I guess, layers. So I'm just showing in here that with the watercolor, because of the water, it kind of pulls near the bottom. So I just dried off my paintbrush um, and I went in and I just pulled it back out towards the rest of the petal um, to paint the rest of the petal a little bit darker. And that just seemed to work for me. Sorry for the camera work there. I was trying to paint and use the camera with my other hand and uh, it was not working very well. So yeah, that's what I did. I just I went in there and I just pulled it back out. So this is after I did a couple of coats on the middle flower and then the two side flowers I just did the pink color. I didn't really go in depth because I wanted it to be just a little bit different. Um, obviously they are still the same color basically but I didn't add any dimension because I wanted it to be just a little bit different than the center flower. So that is what that looks like and I have the two different um, watercolor things out because I was considering doing different colors for the side flowers and doing maybe a blue color but I decided for my purposes I just wanted to keep it all one color um, or one color family basically I guess because the center one turns out to be pretty pink as well so just the pink ones is all I wanted to do um, but you could easily do yellow or orange or blue or purple or pretty much anything 
and I wanted to see what it looked like with that red on there, um, but I did not really like it, so I wiped that off. And that's a, something like if you didn't if you didn't like it, you could wipe it off. It's a little bit, it's not too hard to do that. So here's a close up of what it kind of looks like, and that's a little bit out of focus. I apologize for that. Um, there you go. So you can see that there's a really nice watercolor effect to it, which I really really love. I think it looks really great. Um, it's probably one of my new favorite projects. I just really like how it turns out. And like I said, if you wanted to use spray paint, I'm sure you'd get a more even coat, but I wanted that watercolor look. So this is what it all looks like all together. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions below. Thank you so much for watching and give me a like and a thumbs up and a subscribe below. Thank you. Bye.